everybody. It's story time. Hope everybody's doing really good. So my stories today are all about hats, okay? So um, if you want to go and get a hat, it could be a baseball hat, a winter hat, a fancy hat, a pirate hat, any kind of hat that you have. I'm gonna count to 10, I'll count slowly, and then you can come back and we can get started, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. We're halfway there. Halfway there. Are you almost ready with your hat? Six, seven, eight. <laughs> don't have your hat, it's okay. You can always find another hat later, all right? Okay, so my first story is called Hooray for Hat. When Elephant woke up, he was grumpy. Is that what you look like when you wake up grumpy? The door, excuse me, the doorbell rang. Elephant stomped down the stairs. Go away, I'm grumpy. I wish people would warn me before I see them if they're grumpy. There was a present on the doorstep. Elephant unwrapped the box. You can't be grumpy anymore, Elephant. Look at that. What do you think inside the box? Hmm? Look! It was hard to stay grumpy now. Hooray for Hat! Elephant cheered. I will show Zebra. He doesn't look grumpy anymore. But Zebra did not want to look at any hats. Go away! I'm grumpy. Oh no! You think there's another present? No, sort of. So Elephant gave Zebra a hat. Zebra smiled. They both cheered. Hooray for hat! Let's show Turtle. Did you see the hat that Elephant gave Zebra? That looks like a party hat. But Turtle would not come out of his shell. Yep. Go away, I'm grumpy. Look at that, he has his shell to hide in when he's grumpy. And then what Elephant did, Elephant gave Turtle a hat too. Turtle smiled. They all cheered. Cheer with me. Hooray for hat! Let's show Owl. Look at that fancy hat that Turtle got. didn't want to see them on their hat or their hats. Go away, I'm grumpy. That is hiding in his tree. He does look grumpy. Elephant gave Owl a hat too. Owl smiled. They all cheered. Boop, boop, hooray for hat. Zebra, Turtle, and Owl marched down the road to show Lion. Hooray for Hat! But Lion did not want any visitors. Go away, I'm grumpy. You see him in the cave there? Yikes. I don't think I would disturb a grumpy lion. Elephant gave Lion a hat too, but Lion was still sad. I love this hat, but I can't cheer when my, while our friend Giraffe is not feeling well. 
What can we do? Look at what kind of hat they gave the lion. He is king of the jungle. So elephant, zebra, turtle, owl, and lion made a surprise for giraffe. Don't tell him. Can you see the surprise? They all marched to giraffe's house, home. On the way, lion started to feel better. And soon, can you see him? I didn't see part of them. Giraffe felt better too. Hooray for friends! Charity's always there. Okay. So now we're going to use our hats. Do you have your hat? Got my hat. This is my hat. <laughs> okay. So on my head I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my head wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Hmm. Well, how about the shoulder? You might have to hold it though. Okay, you ready? On my shoulder I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my shoulder wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? What did you say? <gasps> elbow, really? <laughs> okay, here we go. On my elbow I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my elbow wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? All right, that was a good idea. Um, how about your knee? You could probably do your knee, but you're not going to be able to see it when I do my knee. So go ahead, put it on your knee. Ready? On my knee, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my knee wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Oh my goodness, on your foot? Okay, you put it on your foot. I'll put it on my foot, but you're not going to be able to see it. Okay, ready? On my foot, I can't wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my foot wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Oh, maybe you can come up with some other ideas, but I have one more. Okay, ready? How about this on your hand? Okay? Oops. <laughs> maybe work out better this way. Okay. On my hand, I wear a hat. It is such a quiet hat. It at my hat don't wiggle, it just goes up. Then I fold them in my lap. Are your hands folded in your lap? Are we ready to go on? Okay, Let's see if I can read my story with my silly hat on. Okay, my next story is called I Want My Hat Back. Uh oh. My hat is gone. I want it back. Do you know what kind of animal that is? What does that look like to you? It's big. Did you say bear? That's right. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you. Oops, sorry. I have to hold on to you. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you. You see what that is? Ribbit, ribbit. Have you seen my hat? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask 
ask me any more questions. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything all day. I have been trying to climb this rock. Would you like me to lift you up on top of it? Yes, please. That's be very helpful. Ooh, what's that? Snake. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. My hat doesn't look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? What is a hat? Thank you anyway. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat. I miss it so much. <sighs> What's the matter? I have lost my hat and nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? It is red and pointy and... saw a red pointy hat. Hmm. So he runs back. You stole my hat. Yep. I love my hat. Excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. Oh, okay, thank you anyway. favorite hat that you like to wear? I know my nephew loves to wear his Cubs hat. So the farmer had to look for it. He looked and he looked. See, he's looking everywhere for it. And he looked. <laughs> no old brown hat. He saw a squirrel. Squirrel, did you see my old brown hat, said the farmer. No, said Squirrel, I saw a fat brown brown bird in the sky. A bird with no wings. The farmer saw a mouse. Mouse, did you see my old brown hat, said the farmer. See, that's the bird that Squirrel saw. No, said Mouse, I saw a big round brown mouse hole in the grass. I ran to it, but away it went. The farmer saw fly, fly. Did you see my old brown hat, said the farmer. Does that look like a rabbit's hole? And look, talking to the fly on his nose. What do you think fly saw that? No, said Fly, I saw a flat, round, brown hill. The hill was in a tree, and then that hill took off, and away it went. 
The farmer saw Goat. Goat, did you see my old brown hat? said the farmer. No, said Goat. I saw a funny round brown flower pot. I was going to eat it. But the wind took that flower pot away. The farmer saw Duck. Duck, did you see my old brown hat? said the farmer. Can you see the flower pot he's talking about? Was it this one? No. Was it this one? No. What about that one? Do you see it? <laughs> Let's see what Duck saw. They all saw something different. Or did they? No, said Duck. I saw a silly round brown boat. But Bird took that away. The farmer saw Bird. Bird, did you take my old brown hat? said the farmer. Okay. It's pretty strong to carry that hat away. No, said Bird. I saw this nice brown brown nest. But no hat. The farmer looked at the nest in the tree. A nice old brown, brown nest. Bird was in it and an egg was in it. Oh my, said the farmer. Can you see the little egg up there? Like it, asked Bird. I like it, said the farmer. Oh yes, I like that nice round brown nest. It looks a little like my old brown hat, but I see it is a nice round brown nest. The farmer has a new brown hat. Oh, how he likes that new brown hat. That's all the stories I have today. If you are in A Thousand Books Before Kindergarten, that's three stories that you can include, okay? And uh, we have sign up on the, our website that you can sign up for A Thousand Books in Kindergarten, and I've noticed that people are signing up for it, so that's exciting, okay? Okay, so I gotta take this off for a second. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to make a hat, okay? If you didn't have one to wear, uh, when I was a kid, I remember making paper hats out of newspapers. I think somewhere went down the line, the newspapers got thinner because it didn't quite work out the way I thought it would. But I picked the funny pages because there was lots of color. So if you can get a, a piece of... Okay, so see, it's already folded. Okay, so then you want to fold it together like this, the top to the bottom, match it up. Okay, remember to make good tight folds. I didn't bring my special tool today. Okay, there you go. Now this is the folded part and this is the open part. You want to fold it one more time, but you want to fold it across like this. So to corner to corner this way. Look like a hat. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Actually, all you need is to make that crease, that's all. And then you're going to take one corner and you're going to fold it to that crease that you folded. Okay, see here's the where we folded it, the middle, and you're going to take this and match it up to that line. And then you're going to do the same for the other side. Okay. Okay, so then you have to take part of the bottom, okay, because here's this part, and you got to fold it twice, 
because um, it, it's a lump. So you take it and you fold it up to the edge where you folded the other two corners. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and then you go over to the other side, flip it over, and do the exact same thing. And you just line it up with the one that's in the front. See, so you can see it. It's right there. Okay. Then you have to take that. You can keep it frozen. And you fold it up. Okay. And then you flip it over. See how I folded it up? And then you take the other bottom part and you fold that up. Okay. And then there's your hat. Okay. So like I said, these speakers apparently have gotten smaller because they don't fit my head anymore. Or maybe my head got bigger. But I brought my friend. And it's actually real big for monkey hair. Okay? If you want to keep this side up, you can just get oops, your glue stick or if you have a stapler, okay, you can glue it. You can just put it on this bottom fold right here. Put some glue on there. you fold it over the corner one. See, you folded it over on that, okay? Now, I know I put glue on this side and this side, and I told you before not to put glue where it's going to be open, because then the glue gets all dirty. But you're going to fold this over the other side, and you're going to fold that over, okay? So, just put some glue there. it over. Just like that. Okay, let's see if it fits Carl. This is Carl. And Carl <laughs> um, is from a series of books about Carl the dog by Alexandra Day. Oh, there's probably six, seven, eight books. It's uh, Carl's birthday. I think there's a Christmas one, a Halloween one. I think Carl goes to the park, so they're a little older, but the pictures are great, and it's a little bit snug for Carl, but there we go, there's Carl in his hat, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put Carl back over here, okay, so during our situation, I have to deal with what I have, and so We had a newspaper, so we have that. I also had some, uh, we get the big copier paper like this and with the regular, we get legal, and we get this big copier paper. And you can do it with this also. And since it's white, you could um, add stickers to it or you could draw something on it. So you can use that. Okay. Um, I did find some long construction paper longer this is i think this is um maybe 13 by 17 this copier paper and this is just a little bit bigger on it's like an inch on the top and the bottom so it's a little bit bigger and yeah bright yellow So you want to fold it the long ways, corner to corner. And remember to make your, your folds tight, okay? Then you want to fold it again, and you want to fold it this way. If you don't have um, construction paper or big enough construction paper, Again, you can probably use wrapping paper. You just have to cut it to where um, you know it's going to fit your head. Mine would probably be the whole wrapping paper. Okay, like that. See? And then you take one corner. You fold it into that line where you folded it already. Tight fold. 
So you take the other corner and you fold that in, just like that. And then here's the bottom part, and the bottom part should be open. And you just take it, fold it up like that. And then you flip it over and you want to do the back side that way. Okay, again, that big piece of picture paper isn't big enough for my head. <laughs> or even this way. Okay, and you can glue it if you want to keep it there like that. And you can decorate it, whatever you have. Um, we have lots of these little pom-poms, you know, these little balls here. So you can just put some glue down and stick it on. Just make sure it stays. And let's see what other colors I have. You have um, liquid glue, you can do that too. If you have glue ducts, you can do, use that. Or the yellow one. I'm not going to do the whole hat. Just to give you an idea. Okay. Whatever kind, whatever you have at home. Like I said, again, on this one, the style of paper you could, whoops, it's they're not stained because I didn't give them time to dry. So they sort of fell off. But they do stick because I obviously have practiced doing this. So you can do that. Okay, here's some examples. Here's one with the white copier paper and I had some glittery stickers and so I just put those on. Okay, and this one is that great big piece of paper. Yes, this one fits on my head. But again, you have to fold it in half, match the corners up. Fold it the other way. Remember, you want the folded part and then the open part. You fold that over and that so that you have this. And then you'll take this down and line it up with that line in the middle. And then constructor paper is a little hard because it's so much thicker than the copier paper, and probably wrapping paper would be good too. Okay. And then you take this one, okay, <laughs> and you put it up there, okay. and then you take the bottom, just one, okay, you only want one, so you gotta flip it over and do the other one, and it's a little harder to get that <laughs> tight fold. flowers that you could glue on, whatever you would like to glue them on, or I do have, um, I did have some stickers like on my hat, and they were the ones that had the backing on it that you take off, and then you can stick them somewhere, and I have some little tiny ones, or smaller ones anyway. with some glitter stickers so everything has glitter on it. Okay. And we'll put this one down here. Okay. So there you go. And I had already made one. I didn't glue it, but this is the big construction paper. And this one fits me! Yeah! I'm good! I'm going to wear it like this and just de decorate both sides. Or I can do this. Or like I said, if you wanted to draw something, if you have letter stickers, you could write your name. Well, that's all there is for today, boys and girls. I miss you. Hope to see you real soon. Remember, now you can...
call the library and request rope bundles and you can um, come pick them up at the library. You, if you've got books to return, we have bins or you can put them in the book drops because we're not allowed to touch the books that you return them. They will have to go in um, quarantine for 72 hours. And we will hand you the bag. We'll either you roll down your window, your back window or your trunk and we will put them in the car for you. Hope to see you real soon. You guys all take care. Bye-bye.